Well, I definitely needed a boost. And Rockstar never disappoints. But let's get on to the show. Assalamu alaikum, bienvenidos, and welcome to the Impact Play. My name is Muhammad, otherwise known as It's Yegu. And I'm your host and your producer on the ones and twos. And we are your one stop shop for the news, discussions, and reviews around gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, esports, and music. We're also keen on uplifting voices and even highlighting the stories. You can join us live as we record over at twitch.tv backslash time play and by clicking on the notification bell so you will be notified when we do go live or we will be later on youtube.com backslash time back play as well as lots of your favorite podcast platform simply search for the impact play so no matter however consumer content or whatever consumer we are there it's the board keeps the lights running and keeps the content coming you can learn more by joining us over on discord where you can get access to some exclusive content, including the advert version of the show, a whole ton of content before everyone else, and more. We are also epic partners of every purchase you make within the Epic Store, whether it be Rocket League, Fortnite, Full Guys, and more. And uh, regardless of the platform, whether it be Xbox, PlayStation, PC, or even on the Nintendo Switch. So when you use that credit card to Epic Play, we do, kick- we do get a kickback and a commission to help support us in a brand new way, and no extra cost to you. This episode of the Impact Play is also sponsored by Audible. However, we'll tell you about that later. On the agenda, we have the next iteration of NBA 2K has been revealed. Screen is canceling Just Cause Mobile. Sega rolls back its blockchain plans. The Tokyo Game Show is going to be the largest ever. The visual date for Samsung's Unpacked has been set. Samsung's mixed reality plans. Instagram's threads. The Super Mario movie is... Uh, so, I'm sorry, the Super Bros movie is coming to streaming. Introdu- introducing Pokemon Concierge, a Suicide Squad anime, San Diego Comic Con, UFC 290, the 2023 MLB All Star Game, Zero is Retiring. The Gamim Gladiators have claimed victory at the Bali Major 2023 Championship. Fan Army Face Off is here. New music by Currency, Zayn Malik. Tomorrow, together, and the Jonas Brothers, what's the top search of the week? So, welcome to my first segment of the show. Where we discuss what we have been playing, what I'm enjoying, essentially, what we have been up to. So, let's see what have I have been up to. So, gaming-wise, I've, ha- I've been playing Apex Legends uh, on and off. So, I've been uh, uh, hopping into a couple of uh, ranked matches. And what else? That's yeah. I have been on my Nintendo Switch for a couple for a, a while now. The last thing that I played was um, the Sonic uh, remake that I got. I posted on social. Uh, what is it called? Sonic Origins Plus, I believe that's what it's called. And uh, watching wise, I'm still. On episode three of Secret Invasion, so I haven't uh, fully uh, completed watching that yet. Uh, as another thing, that's about it. But on my own social, I've been uploading a whole ton of videos. I even have more videos I haven't posted yet. A whole ton of content, and as and you can see behind me, let me unblur it real quick, just so you can see. I have the Minecraft fridge, uh, which I did record uh, the, uh, the uh, box opening earlier today. And it will be uh, uploaded later on to my socials. So TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, uh, the video will be available there. And you can also follow me on Instagram and threads as well. Let's see. I guess that's it uh, for what I've been playing. I guess we'll get into the news, folks, and we'll start with some housekeeping. Introducing is Team Impact, born in Atlanta and powered by the Impact Play. Learn more by visiting itsteamimpact.com. Once again, that is its team Impact. Back.com. Its team impact and its affiliates are property and trademark of the impact play. All rights reserved.
You can sign up for your free Dirty Day trial and immediately get access to one credit. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get access to two credits. And it's good for any premium title. Simply go to audibletrial.com backslash to play. Once again, that is audibletrial.com backslash to play. First up, we have uh, our last episode, um, 315, where we're talking about Among Us is actually getting an animated series and more. So you can check that out on YouTube.com backslash Dan McPlay as, well as your favorite podcast service. Uh, next up, we also have a whole uh, ton of esports live streams that's been happening. So the, RL, um, the Rocket League, uh, what does CS stand for? Uh, championship Sun. Oh, I'm sorry. The Rocket League Spring Major. Uh, the the live streams that have been happening. All those vibes are available on our YouTube channel. Even the Overwatch World Cup uh, online qualifiers are available on our YouTube channel.com. So YouTube.com backslash I mean, play. That's where you want to get that content. And that's about it for some for housekeeping. I guess we'll go into the news, folks. We're going to start with your gaming play. Let's see. The first one up is uh, Tokyo Game Show. is going to be apparently the, its largest ever, uh, coming from Games Industry. That biz. So we have, according to its organizers, uh, Tokyo Game Show 2023 will take place at its usual venue at Makuhari Messe in G- Chiba, Japan. But unlike last year, there will be no COVID-19 restrictions and place so the entire space will be utilized for exhibitors and visitors alike. Over 2,000 booths and 200,000 visitors are expected. For the first time in over four years, uh, the Tokyo Game Show will take up the entire Makahari uh, mess halls for the physical exhibition. The organizer said in a press release, in addition, we will further strengthen the virtual venue and online projects to realize the largest ever hybrid event. Running from December 21st to the 24th, uh, the theme will be uh, apparently games in motion, the world in revolution. Uh, exhibitors including uh, Bandai Namco, Capcom, Sony Interactive Entertainment, Sega, Atlas, Xbox, and Nintendo. Square Enix and Kojima Productions will also attend. And that's about it. So that's it for that front. Uh, next up, we have uh, South Africa. De- uh, South Africa did approve Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard. That's the latest country that, that gave them a uh, green light. Uh, thank you, Games Industry, for that uh, update. And next up, we have uh, games in the Bethesda are, are confirmed for Gamescom 2023. Coming from Games Industry, that biz went again. Uh, so the Gamescom is returning to Coel Messi from August 23rd to 27th. So uh, Nintendo is also uh, will be attending as well. Uh, uh, but it was reported that last month that uh, Sony uh, will apparently not be will be attending. And next up, uh, uh, in, in uh, the same realm as Xbox News, uh, coming over from Gamespot. Uh, Microsoft will release over 40 demos on Xbox uh, uh, consoles as part of the ID at Xbox Demo Fest on July 11th. Uh, so many of the demos will be available until July 17th. Alright, uh, just a little bit of an update for you. And next up we have NBA 2K24 uh, coming over from GameSpot as well. Uh, so it uh, has an official uh, launch date of September 8th. Uh, we'll bring a slew of new gameplay features. Our pre-orders are now live for all versions, so P- uh, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, and PC. Uh, let's see, Kobe Bryant is uh, the cover star. Uh, he covers the standard, uh, who covering, uh, is the cover star for the standard edition, as well as the $100 Mamba, uh, Black Mamba collection. GameStop has an exclusive WNBA uh, collection, I'm sorry, edition, featuring New York Liberty guard Sabrina Lanesso. And f- and the 25th anniversary edition will offer access to NBA League Pass as well as a ton of in-game bo- uh, bonuses. Uh, let me show you a bit of... Uh, let me give you a look about the, the editions from that article on GameSpot. Give me one second. 
So for all you audio, uh, audio listeners, you're definitely missing out if you're unable to join us live. You can watch the VOD later on, on Spotify or even on YouTube. Just simply search for the Impact Play. So this is the standard edition. Uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, Bryant as the uh, late the late Kobe Bryant as its cover star. Uh, next up, we have the WA, uh, NBA edition at uh, GameStop, seventy dollars. Uh, and then next up, we have the Mamba edition, the Black Mamba edition, hundred dollars. And next up, we have the twenty fifth anniversary edition, hundred and fifty. And it has a 12 month NBA League Pass subscription as well. That's right for that much, obviously. But that's about it. That's all the editions, folks. So if you guys are excited, let me know which uh, which edition you will be pre ordering and which is your favorite as well. Even if you're not uh, pre ordering, if, you, if you're not going to be getting the game, just, uh, just let us know. I would, I would love to know which edition you are interested in. All right, uh, so next up we have Square Enix uh, did cancel Just Cause Mobile coming over from the video games Chronicle. The development of the game has ceased and the early access version will be pulled from digital stories. Uh, and, uh, so that's it. So that's all it has for you that it's been pulled. I wonder why. And next up, uh, we have EA Sports FC uh, release it has been reportedly revealed, coming from IGN. So September 29, 2023, uh, according to a new report. So uh, according to a reliable leaker, uh, Billy Bill Kahn, uh, alongside standard and ultimate editions of the upcoming football game, those who buy the expensive version uh, will get a week's worth of early access from September 22nd, while EA Play subscribers will get a 10-hour trial. Uh, so that's about it. And EA is expected to officially reveal uh, some news later in July, so later on this month. Next up, we have Sega scaling back its uh, blockchain plans, coming from Games Uh Sony is easing up its plans for blockchain gaming following crashes in the cryptocurrency market and calling interest in NFTs. The web publisher, Co uh, Chief, Operating officer Shuji Otsumi told Bloomberg that all internally developed titles that use blockchain technology have been shelved for now. The action in play to earn games is boring. He told the title, What's the point of games are no fun? Well, kind of makes sense. Like, literally. Uh, next up, we have uh, Ubisoft that is announcing <laughs> it's the second pulling its blockchain game, and now Ubisoft is actually entering the, fr the fray of uh, blockchain gaming. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, this coming from Games you that biz again. Uh, so it's apparently described as a brand new PvP tactical RPG experimental game. Champion Tactics will be Ubisoft's first partnership with the Oasis blockchain. So the official site states that it'll be released soon, but offers no further detail on gameplay or how the blockchain part of the game will work. That's all we have. <laughs> That's funny. I don't get it. I don't. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll move on to some tech news for you folks. <laughs> uh... So Samsung Unpacked has an official release date of Ju uh, July 26. They made the announcement, uh, I believe, on their site. And they also uh, uh, posted it like a teaser trailer. And this and this uh, report is coming from The Verge. So Samsung has its has announced it's hosting its next unpacked on July 26 at 7 a.m. Eastern, which is my birth year. My birthday, I should, I should say, be more precise. So a nice birthday gift. Uh, it'll be in Seoul, uh, South Korea. Uh, so of course they're going to be announcing the new iterations of the Gal Galaxy Z Flip and the Z5, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Z Fold respectively. Uh, of course, we're going to see the next generation of the Galaxy Watch, which is I'm excited for, and some tablets, maybe in your butt. But, yeah. So, that's about it. Uh, next up, we have our Roto VR reporting that Samsung has delayed its mixed reality headset due to stiff competition from the Apple Vision Pro. 
And according to uh, a Korean report uh, from SB, SBiz, the report maintains that Samsung has recently notified its display manufacturing partnerships, Samsung Display and China's BOE, that is postponing the release of existing mixed reality devices. Samsung was reportedly hoping to ready samples of the uh, headset by year's end, aiming to mass produce the device starting early next year, but this has apparently been delayed by about one to two quarters or three to six months. So that's it on that front. Uh, next up, we have Apple is reportedly scaling back its production plans of its uh, Vision Pro. Next reality headset coming from IGN, uh, as originally reported by FT. I guess because of the price point, maybe? Maybe that has something to do with it. But they're pretty much scaling it back because they're not ex expected to sell that much, which for 3500 price point, and it doesn't really do anything intuitive. Of course not. All right, and next up we have uh, Instagram Threads. So if you're not in Instagram Threads, it's basically uh, an expanded universe uh, where it has uh, uh, similar features to that of Twitter, but you do need an Instagram account to download. You can download it on uh, either Android or uh, Apple. I have it on both my devices. So as you can see here, Apple and Android, I have, have them on both devices. So I, I'm, I'm there, the Epic Play is there, and STM Impact is there as well. And let's see, uh, Windows Central does report that uh, they'll be bringing some numerous feature updates in the near future. Users have been complaining that basic features are missing, and that has surpassed over 50 million accounts in just over a day after its release. And actually, I'm actually enjoying this better than Twitter. Like, I stopped posting on Twitter because I've been posting on threads. It's a lot easier. And it doesn't uh, degrade the quality like the way Twitter does. And Twitter is, like, riddled, riddled with ads, uh, prom pr promoted tweets, accounts, all that stuff. I'm just tired of it. Uh, uh, tw uh, threads has a similar issue where it'll give you... Like uh, updates from multiple accounts that you don't even follow, which which is which is an issue, and they're aware of this issue, and they've they're actually working on a, a slew of updates, including a more comprehensive search function, hashtags, direct messages, and chronicle uh, uh, logical order post, and feed reverse support, whatever that means, and yeah, I'm pretty so they are working on a lot of features. All right, and next up we have uh, the Meta Quest 3 that is said to borrow one of the Quest Pro's, uh, Quest Pro's best, best of VR features coming from Games Radar. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Pancake Lens is as the Quest Pro, and it could ultimately provide tastier eye candy. Da, da, da. That's literally it. All right, next up we have Elon Musk. Uh, has accused Meta of cheating with Twitter rival threads. I forgot to include this <laughs> and because we were talking about threads earlier, <laughs> but it's fine. It's like a follow up. Okay, he's so uh, petty. Again, he's uh, threatening to sue threads of copycat. And again, like that's what social media is. They, they're similar features. Like you introduce stories, but that feature was ultimately started with. Snapchat, but you copied that. So why didn't Snapchat sue you if that's the case? I love that. And you know, and then uh, uh, not just that, they uh, they also uh, he he uh, he also included that uh, because he, he there they also hired some engineers and people that used to work at Twitter. Uh, uh, after the after he, he after they were fired, so they started working at, on threads. And the funny thing is, none of them from Twi uh, none of the Twitter former employees actually worked on uh, developing threads. So what basis does he have? He has nothing. <laughs> it's just it's just funny. Like he's so petty, and he also banned uh, the word uh, threads from his platform. That's that's how petty he is. Like, come on, really? All right. Um, Twitch is adding stories in the feed for discovering new streamers to watch, according to Engadget. 
uh, they announced that at TwitchCon Paris. Uh, so it'll be rolling out uh, apparently in October. All right, and next up we have Google Wallet. It will soon allow, allow you to share your travel and event passes with other people, which is actually nice. Uh, coming from The Verge. So 95 Google also uh, spotted this originally. Uh, that uh, They added a way to share valuables in Google Wallet. So that's about it. Next up we have, or should I say last up, we have uh, Google's Med Palm 2, an AI tool designed to answer questions about medical information has been uh, testing in the testing stage at the Mayo Clinic Research Hospital. Oh, sorry. Time to pray. <laughs> Gus is disabled, but it's fine. All right. Uh, Wall Street Journal reported this morning that uh, the Med Palm 2 is a variant of the Palm 2, which was announced out of Google I.O. earlier in May. And his Palm 2 is a language model underpinning Google's BARD. So, and Google believes that its updated mo uh, module will, can be particularly helpful in countries with more limited access to doctors. So, pretty much it's an, it's an uh, AI thing, an AI tool to benefit uh, hospitals from, I guess, third world countries, uh, for an example. But yeah, thank you, Diverge, for that one. Uh, I guess that's it for tech. We're going to move on to some entertainment. San Diego Comic-Con, coming from IGN. Uh, so we have a the schedule, pretty much, that is set. So Marvel Phases 5 and 6 will probably not be holding panels this year, as well as Netflix, Universal, and Sony Pictures, uh, because, because of the ongoing writer's strike. Uh, let's see. So let's see what do we got. Uh, so Max will, Max will be there with the animated series like Harley Quinn and... Adventure Time, Fiona and Cake, Prime will be, uh, Prime will be there as well. Uh, let's see, Paramount Pictures, uh, AMC. Let's see, Pokemon, the Pokemon Company will be there. Hmm. Marvel will be there showing us Spider-Man 2, A24, uh, FX. Uh, that's about it that I'm seeing. I'm just skimming through the schedule real quick. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, CD Project Red will be there. Entertainment Weekly. Uh, Fox and Justice League War World will be there as well, uh, including Invincible Season Two. There will be a social wait. Oh no, there won't be a special screening. So there might be a screening for uh, Inv Invincible Season Two. All right, uh, next up, we have an exclusive from The Hollywood Reporter. Jennifer Grant is returning as Electra for Deadpool 3. Multiple sources have uh, told The Hollywood Reporter. So that's, that's good news. Uh, next up, we have Suicide Squad is apparently working on an anime series announced by Warner Brothers Japan and WIT Studio. Coming from IGN. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me see. Uh, I don't, I don't want to show the the audio because it, we might get uh, hit with uh, with what you call it. Actually, looks pretty good. It looks weird seeing uh, see seeing uh, DC as an anime. Like it looks super weird. It's just different. We saw, uh, of course, it's taking inspiration from Demon Slayer. But yeah, uh, what's that word I was thinking of? I honestly forgot. 
Oh, we don't want to get hit with the copyright. That's why I didn't uh, put uh, the music. Oh, wait, I didn't even show it. That's funny. So we got to replay it. So, I'm sorry. That's what happens when we are a one-minute production show. Let us let me know your thoughts on this. Either in the comments if you're watching us live or later by sending us a free email. So if, uh, stick to the end of the show and, and I'll give you the deets on how, how to. Yeah, you have a few options to send this free email. Or you, you could just join the Discord for, for, for you know, just to ha have a conversation. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> yep, I did. I came out. I made it just in time. Wow. All right. So next up, uh, we have uh, Jutsu Jujutsu Kaisen season two. Uh, well, apparently. Add new non manga scenes with a fan favorite character. And in second season, uh, uh, first half of this is going down the prequel route with the first half of the season adopting the hidden uh, inventory premature death arc. Uh, let's see. So it'll kick off uh, in Japan on August 31st. We'll see when it comes stateside. So next up, we have uh, an update for you on the uh, Netflix IRL One Piece uh, series that's happening. So they've added a Japanese anime voice actors that decided to reprise their roles in this live action adaptation as well. A gun from Anime Expo. A good deadline for that. Uh, we have Pokemon Concierge has a release date of or I'm sorry, release window of December 2023 of this year. And they've there's a new teaser starring Psyduck and Lampit. Next up we have Super Mario uh, Bros. movies coming to Peacock in August. 31st uh the third. So thank you, The Verge, for that. And lastly, uh, we have the weekend box of office uh, updates for you coming from IGN. So the series Red Door has uh, uh, stopped in the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny from securing a second domestic uh, weekend box office win as it earned 30, over 30 million to uh, Indiana Jones uh, 20 plus million. Uh, so. Uh, Overall, they've reached over 90 million in total internationally for Insidious. All right, that's about it. Uh, so that's it for entertainment. Uh, let me see what we got for you. I guess we move on to some sports. So apparently my mic was muted for the second half of the show, so I'm gonna pretty much repeat the news. <laughs> So I do apologize for all that, but now we're going to start with your sports play. So the first one up is Major League, uh, the baseball all-star game 2023 coming from NBC Sports. Uh, so it did take place, uh, well technically the ceremonial of events has taken place July 7th with all-star game set July 11th. So thank you, NBC, for that one. CBS Sports uh, reports for um, the UFC 290 results. So give me a second. Let me guess. So the, for the main card, the results are as follows. For the falterweight of the main event, we have Alexander Valvanovsky has defeated Yar Rodriguez uh, for a K, uh, TKO. Next up, we have... Alejandro Pantoja has defeated Brandon Moreno via a decision. 
Robert Whitaker has lost against Decris Du Plessis uh, of, uh, from uh, VI TKO. We have Dan Hooker has defeated Jalen Turner via a decision. We have for the that was for the lightweight. I'm sorry. Uh, for the middleweight, we have Bro Nickel has defeated Val Woodburn uh, TKO, and uh, middleweight uh, for the middleweight we have Bro Nickel um, versus Trizan Gore has been canceled. And that's it for sports. Now we're gonna move on to some esports. The first one up is uh, Dota 2. There's a short film contest uh, that has been announced uh, for the International 2023, inviting filmmakers to submit their 92nd creations by September 14th. Uh, the community will play a crucial role in the selection process by voting for the favorite submissions and the Steam Workshop. And cash prizes are as follows: 25,000, 10,000, and 5,000, respectively. So, if those of you are interested, I'll be sure to put that in chat. And next up, we have all the all the teams that have qualified for the international 2023, uh, the T1I12. So the confirmed teams are as follows: Team Liquid. Uh, we have the Game and Gladiators, Evil Geniuses, Tundra Esports, Shopify Rebellions, Tail on Esports, Nine Pandas, Team Spirit, PSG LGD, Beast Coast TCM, and Bat Boom Team. Uh, we have AFK uh, Gaming also reports uh, that of the Gamers 8 Fortnite 2023 Middle East qualifiers. It's set to kick, uh, it's kicked off July 6th and will conclude on uh, August 31st. So we have uh, all the duo staff qualified for the main stage are as follows. We have Cal Gamer and NM7. Uh, uh, for a total of 329 points, Evish D and Hero for 328 points, Satam and Smicky for 289 points, Bloomy and Laurel for 273 points, and Dex Fight and Draftel for 253 points. And we have g the Game and Gladiators are your Historic Bowling Major 2023 champions. They have claimed victory over Team Liquid at a 3 to 1 in the Grand Finals. So it is their uh, uh, third Dota ma uh, 2 Major 2 tournament win, matching OG's record of 3 major victories in the 2016 2017 season. Thank you, FK Gaming, for that. We have Dexerto reporting uh, for the Internationals 2023. The dates are, are, let's see, when is it? I believe now it's in October. Uh, yeah, October 12th with the group stage. All right, uh, next up we have Fnatic has overhauled the CSGO roster with a uh, coming up from DO2 Esports. They have added Dexter and Afro uh, to their CSGO lineup ahead of uh, CS2's release. All right, and lastly, we have Zero has announced his retirement. So, Trio, Zero, Morris has decided to hang up the control ahead of the 2024 CDL season. And that's it for esports. Then we'll move on to the last and final segment, music. So, Fan Armor Face Off has begun for Another round, 2023 has begun. So, Billboard reports that uh, we have, let's see, where are you? So, it did begin July 5th. The first round of voting has begun, with the second round of, uh, beginning July 12th. Uh, we have Billboard also reporting that Fate and Hypen has announced uh, a second world tour. We have the dates and venues. So we have the Seoul, Korea, July 29th to the 30th, uh, September 2nd to the 3rd in Osaka, Japan, September 13th to the 14th in, in Tokyo, October 6th in LA, October 12th in Glendale, Arizona, October 13th in Houston, the four, October 14th in Dallas, 
October 18th to the 19th in Newark, in ending in October 22nd in Chicago. Uh, next up, we have Currency and Harry Feud. Uh, their Vices album is available. No. So it's executive produced by Fraud. It has nine tracks in collaboration with Benny the Butcher, Larry June, and more. Zayn Malik has announced some teaser for his upcoming music. He put up a video on his Instagram uh, profile. We have 5050s as bringing their K pop uh, version to Barbie's Dreams, to the Barbie soundtrack. And lastly, we have the top five out of Billboard's Hot 100 charts out of, as of the week of July 10th. Uh, we have Morgan Wallen, uh, his last night is the number one. We have Luke Combs' Fast Cars, the number two. Calm Down by Rima and Selena Gomez is the number three. Molly Cyrus's Flowers is the number four. And number five, we have Lil Dork and J. Cole's All My Life. So that's all we have for you, folks. If you guys are interested in sending us some reading mail, here's how you can contact us. We want to know any thoughts, any questions you may have for us. We have a couple ways to do so. If you guys are listening to us on Spotify after each and every episode, there will be a question asking your thoughts and your uh, feedback for this particular episode. Other ways are as follows by uh, uh, sending us some feedback over on Discord, by leaving a voice note over at egg.fm backslash the impact play, or even via email to remail at theimplay.com. Your feedback will either be played live or read live here on the show. Uh, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. We appreciate every second one of you. If you guys are interested in joining the conversation, you can join us over on Discord by clicking on the description of this episode. But thank you guys so much. You guys, we, uh, we need your help. We're trying to unlock subs. Be sure to follow follow us on our Twitch channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we go live. Uh, share the channel. Share the stream with your friends and family. And follow us on YouTube.com. play. Follow us on threads, on Instagram. Uh, all the works. Thank you guys so much. Uh, be sure to leave your review just for your favorite platform, which helps us reach even more listeners, reach even more viewers, and help us on the charts as well. So thank you guys so much. Have a great one, and we'll see you all next time around. Assalamu alaikum. Nos vemos. We are out.